now, now we're just still sitting here. They haven't moved again. They're still, um, the youngsters are trying to get close to this carcass, but it's very, very difficult because that big male is so protective over it at the moment. Very peaceful. Some Franklin's calling in the distance. There are still one or two vultures in the distance too. Nothing really close by because there aren't big trees for them to land in at the moment. But it's amazing how their eyesight, their, the vulture's eyesight is so good. They'll see these carcasses and lions lying out for my, very far away. And Dressio, you say these lions are so worn out from eating. They are indeed. Just uh, full bellies, they um, so they, and they they really gorge themselves on meat. They'll eat as much as they possibly can. See, this male's going to get a bit upset with this youngster. You see, as soon as the, these youngsters move around, he gets very upset with them. So as I was saying, these vultures will see these carcasses and lions lying out in the open from far away, and then um, and then hang around and wait in the area until they possibly can get some of the carcass. As I said, the temperature's definitely dropped. I was hoping there'd be a bit more activity, maybe from the females moving, but I think this is typical of uh, lines that are very full. There's no need for them to move just yet or too much. So that's why they... <laughs> Bobby, you say a zebra coma. Yeah, too much, too much zebra meat. Look at those bellies. They are so full. But that is wonderful for this pride. So that's a lot of good food for them. Um, and this will keep them going for a number of days before they need to hunt again. So the females did very well with this kill. <laughs> Nancy. Um, you asked which Birmingham male it is with the pride. Fergus? Mfumo. Mfumo. Thank you. So Fergus says it's Mfumo. That's apparently who it is. I um, haven't really seen these lions enough. and But, um, oh, yeah. So this is a um, Fumo. I've not seen him before, but um, isn't he the one who's got a bit of a tooth miss missing? Yeah. yeah. So he hasn't opened his mouth for me to see that missing tooth yet. Can you see it? also breathing quite heavily when they are so full these lions breathe very heavily and they pant because it actually their bellies are so so full that it makes it difficult to breathe sometimes so you see them panting quite heavily and it's because they are just incredibly full I must be honest I really don't like that feeling you know when you've just ate or you've just eaten so much that you're uncomfortable and you sit back and you just oh, it doesn't matter what you do you feel terrible Oh, all right, so Fergs, sorry, the viewers, I do apologize, uh, you will say this is Tino, not Mfumo, so this is Tino, um, Fergs was actually testing me and I failed, I do apologize, I am very, very sorry for getting it incorrect, um, as I said, I'm not very good with the names of these Birmingham males, I promise to try and improve. So there's a Tino.
Cheryl? I don't know. Um, these youngsters have tried to tried to um, get to that carcass, try to get a little bit closer, but this male is not interested in letting them anywhere close. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen when they're going to going to be able to feed. Nice little yawn there, but watch the male line. He keeps watching. He keeps gazing up at that little youngster. All right. Now we've got some resting lions here at the moment. Now it sounds like they've got resting lions. I don't know if it's a lion or a leopard actually, but something that's resting up in the Mara. Let's go have a look.